Hi everybody, it's Leslie here. Today I'm going to show you how I made my miniature needle felt bear. He is for my never ending story attic diorama. And I just love how he came out. I think this is like the most fantastic way to make miniature stuffed animals for your dioramas. So what you're going to need for this project is some wool for needle felting, some needle felting needles, and some styrofoam. This is where you're going to like poke your needle into. You can use some styrofoam that you got in packaging. You just want the kind of styrofoam that doesn't fall apart as soon as you touch it. This has kind of like a little coating over it. You are going to want to get something to hold this with because once you start stabbing, you're bound to poke yourself. I did. You're going to see a bandit on one of my fingers soon. So I got a pair of tweezers to hold my little ball of wool in place. I'm starting with the belly of my bear. This is going to determine basically the size of my bear. You can go as small as you can possibly do it. And the more you stab the wool, the tighter the wool sticks together. I am making a bear for an old attic. So my bear, I want it to be a little fuzzy. So, but if I continue to stab my bear over and over and over and over again, it will get, the wool will get even tighter. Sounds horrible stabbing the bear, but that's what I'm doing. I am stabbing this wool with a needle. Straight pins are great for holding your project in place as well as protecting your fingers and keeping your project together as you're needle felting the arms or the head or the legs together. It keeps it in place for you. Next, I'm going to make a little ball of the wool for his head. Here I am attaching the head to the body by poking between the two balls. This attaches the little wool pieces together. Next, I'm gonna make the bear's muzzle, his snow area, and his ears. This also involves teeny little balls of the wool, just poking them into the shape you want. And then I will be attaching those ears and nose to the base piece as well. His snout is attached here. It's a little tricky to see. And now I'm going to be adding his little teeny ears on. Now I'm ready to make his arms. I am using one section of the wool to make both arms in the same as one continuous piece. I'm going to wrap that continuous piece around his body to appear to be one to each of his arms, if that makes any sense. You can make two arms, but I think it's easier to have just one piece to work with rather than two small pieces. And now I'm attaching the arms to his body. And then I'm going to do the same process for his legs, just making his legs a little bit thicker than his arms. Mm -hmm. 
time to add his eyes. I am using the head of some straight needles, these little black balls, and I'm going to put some glue on the needle and then um, cut off any little bits. This will definitely not be something a kid would want to play with later on, but this is for my diorama, so it won't be handled much other than me. If anyone has suggestions of better glue to use on needle felting other than tacky glue, please let me know in the comments. It didn't dry as clear as I wanted it to, but for this bear, it was okay because again, he's gonna be an old bear in an attic, so any wear and tear on him would be fine. Now I'm taking a teeny little ball of black wool and making his little bitty nose. To finish off his muzzle, I took a little bit of that black wool and I wrapped it in some tacky glue just to get like a little thin, stiff shape. This will finish off his muzzle area. Lastly, we're gonna add his little poofy tail. And then we are done with this cute bear that's been loved for many years and then put up in the attic for storage. Here's a sneak peek of the attic space. That video will be coming out shortly. Please like and subscribe and ring that bell to get all notifications. Thanks for watching.